It is a tough decision that educators are facing. Good evening. I'm Karen Lee. I'm Jim Benham, and thanks for joining us. We're also streaming live on CBSN Denver. The state's biggest teachers' union surveyed 5,000 teachers. It tells us 40% say they are considering quitting. The union says a big part of that is the workload piled on during the pandemic. Many teachers also say COVID contributes to unsafe working conditions, and they also cite low pay. All teachers can now start getting vaccinated in the in the state of Colorado. 200 people were vaccinated at a Denver Health Clinic today, focused on educators and the families they serve. Clayton Early Learning works with students five and under who are either at or below the poverty line. Sean Chinnis joins us now to talk more about this. And Sean, these teachers have not taken any time off. They've been with their little ones all along. Karen, exactly. They have been in-person learning on this campus here at Clayton Early Learning since last June. That's why they were certainly more than happy to have those vaccines arrive today. And they say that it's important not only to have teachers in the classroom and make that environment safe, but this also helps the parents back at home who are busy working and don't have time to try and supervise their students who would otherwise be trying to learn remotely. Educators were eager to get their first dose right where they were. I am so happy. I'm really glad that we're getting the vaccine so we can get more back to normal. Denver Health staff volunteered to run this mobile clinic at Clayton Early Learning. 170 teachers and school team members were here, along with some community residents 65 and older. We're trying to increase the equity of vaccinations by bringing them to the community. Not only is the school in an underserved community, its focus on children five and under makes it essential for teachers to return to the classroom. It's critically important to the health and safety of our educators, as well as for the confidence of our parents who send their children uh, to learn with us every day. There are communities of color represented at this school, as well as multi-generational families, where getting everyone vaccinated becomes even more of a priority. The freedom that you can see come into people's lives again is extraordinary. It's There's nothing like it. Almost a year into the pandemic, staff know it is far from over, but they believe they're working toward getting their students closer to the educational experience they need. Kids need to be have normal days and normal classrooms and at some point be able to see their teachers faces again. And so everyone who was vaccinated here today will be able to come back here to the same location to get their second dose in a few weeks. Reporting live tonight in Denver, Sean Chitness covering Colorado first. All right, Sean, thank you.